and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at running free code camp offline so without requiring internet connection let's first just get this out of the way so everything we're going to talk about will be here so, and this will be in the description so the link to this if you're on Windows, you might want to come take a look at this every once in a while because a lot of these topics are primarily going to be focused on Mac and Linux. But if you are on Windows, you can also do this on Windows. And it will just be a little bit different than what I'm going to explain. I'll tell you where it's going to be different. So here you can go, you can read through all of this. A few of my friends that are not as good as me when it comes to programming and things like that, it often struggle to run free code camp locally. And I usually say it is really, really easy. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, you want to get the free code camp code. Free code camp is open source, meaning you can go take a look at the code and use it as you please. So first you want to go here, want to copy this. So code and you want to copy this link. You want to open up your terminal, command prompt, console, whatever you have, uh, this is all available on Windows and Mac. And make sure you have a Git installed, so G-I-T. You will need this installed. Once you have this installed, you can just say clone, paste that link there. If you're on Windows, you can just right click and we'll paste it. And then say dash dash dipped is equal to one. This will mean it won't copy absolutely everything. It will just copy what you need. Now, what will you need to follow along while we wait for this? So for the initial setup, you will need an internet connection, but after that, you can disable your internet. So you will need Node.js, so Node, you can go here and search Node.js, Node.js. It will stop auto-completing for me. So you want Node.js right here, and you want to download version 16 point one eight or higher or just version sixteen point something will be good. Anything here would be good. And I see they're coming out of a newer version. A newer version will probably work, but to stay safe try and get version sixteen. Anywhere around there would be good. You also need NPM version eight, which usually comes with Node.js. And the more difficult thing to install would be MongoDB. You will need this, unfortunately, and it is a little bit complex to install. I'm not going to go through the installation process on Linux. It's very easy, but on Windows, it might not be as easy. But if you have this installed, then you're ready to go. So you're just going to install MongoDB and Node.js. So MongoDB, you need this. This is very important. Cool. Now we have cloned it. We can just say CD free code camp. Now you will notice, oh, that's code, my bad, CD free code camp. So you'll notice here I have a free code camp folder right here. This is the file we just get cloned. So this folder is what we just got here. So it get cloned it and it did this. So now the code for free code camp is on our PC. You could have also gone here and say, said code and it just download the zip file and it unzip it. That would have also worked. Now, if you have the code on your system, then you can just say cp sample.env.env. This will be different on Windows. You might have to say copy sample.env.env. You might have to do that. Copy does not work on Linux, though. But cp should also work on Mac. So now if I were to say show hidden files, we should have a .env right there. So the sample of the env, we just did this, we copied and pasted it, and then renamed it by just doing that. So now it's just .env. So that's all we did with the terminal here. Then this will take quite a while to do, so just give it some time, npm ci. This will take a while and will be the thing that requires your internet connection. What this will do is it will install all of the dependencies you'll need. And you just have to wait for this. It will take a while to work. So you give it in about an hour, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is. While we wait for that, we should ensure that MongoDB is enabled. So if you have MongoDB installed, you can just say 
system CTL, this is Linux only, status MongoDB. As you can see, my MongoDB is currently running. But if yours is not running, you should say sudo start or sudo systemctl start mongodb and this will start mongodb for you mine's already started so i'm not going to run that so if yours isn't active you can just say start on mac and windows i think you just have to say mongod and that should work again a lot of these will be here here so if we can actually scroll down to that section where we do that and if we go here where's mongod right here so on Mac OS, and they say Linux as well, you can just say MongoD, and that will start MongoDB. And on Windows, you can do this. Interesting. But yeah, so as you can see, you can just follow along with that if you're not on Windows or if you're not on Linux, because I'm focusing primarily on Linux. Now, as you can see, this is done. For me, it was quite a quick process, but for you, this may take a very long time. If you have started MongoDB, you can then say npm run seed. This will see all of its data and put it inside of MongoDB. So it will store the required information inside of MongoDB. Then npm run develop. And here you can disconnect your computer from the internet. So I'm going to, as you can see here, I'm connected to the internet. As you can see there, I'm going to disconnect my internet. So plug it out. As you can see, I'm no longer connected to the internet. I'm going to run this npm run develop because now we should be able to run this without having to worry about not having an internet connection. We have run npm seed. We have run npm ci. These are the things that requires the most internet connection at the moment. So theoretically, now it should be able to run in a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on how fast your system is. Mine is generally very fast, so I will only have to wait maybe, I'd say three minutes most, and then I'll be able to run it. If your system is not as fast as mine, you might have to wait up to 10 minutes before you can run it. But let's sit back and wait. Now take note, not everything will work without an internet connection here. Some things will break and will not work, and that will be normal. As you can see here, it is done. And when you see, you can now view free code camp client in the browser, you just right click, open link. And now it should open free code camp in your browser. Again, I do not have an internet connection right now, so you'll notice this runs without the internet. Now you will have a sign in button here. I've just run this locally like a few minutes before I made this video. So it's probably keeping me signed in because I've already done it and already have a database and whatnot. But you can just click the sign in button. And once you've done that, you can go to get started. And here we go. Click here and there we go. So now you can click where you want to be. Take note, it may not say where you currently are you might have to just write down at what lesson you are, because I did lesson one, but I don't see it telling me that I did lesson one. But let's take a nice example. Let's say this JavaScript one. I want to learn JavaScript. Let's go to escaping literal quotes in strings. And let's run this. So here it says when you're defining a string, sorry, single quotes, and okay. uh, what should I actually do? Use backslashes to assign string my string variable or point with c okay so we copy that we paste it we just add our backslashes and this should work if i say run the tests as you can see it did run the tests and it got it right let's say i failed and i did this run the test and here we get a missing semicolon not really the issue here but it did an error. We do that, run the test, boom, submit, go to next challenge. Here we go. So this is running fully offline. And that is how you can get free CodeCamp to run offline without requiring an internet connection. 
take note, not everything will work. So you can't always, as you can see here, the portfolio is a little bit broken. That's just how it is. So the lessons are all available offline. However, you can't do some things here. So as long as you just focus on the lessons, you should be able to run this without any issues. And thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, please like it and subscribe. And I will see you all again in the next tutorial.